Welcome to Golden Boy Insider. I'm Bethel Duran, where we take you behind the scenes with a fighter, where we don't ask him, how do you feel? We don't ask him, hey, are you going to win? Hey, how's weight? Uh, did you train? All those questions out the door. We get you ready to learn these guys, know about them as they get ready for their fight. On Saturday at the Galen Center on the campus of USC, on the zone, you can watch the fights that are going to go with Alexis Rocha, Blair Cobbs, but the show opener at 6 o'clock Pacific time features today's guest, Evan Sanchez. He's 10-0. and 0. He's from Central California. And I'm going to let you say the city you're from. All right? It's P-A-R-L-I-E-R. Parlier, California. Parlier. Yes. Okay. Here's why. I've, I know how to say Parlier. I've <laughs> driven by there. I've, when I met you, I've done all your fights. Uh -huh. I've heard people from your town tell me it's Parlier. I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's, what is it? Parlier, California. Parlier, right? Yeah. Just how you say Parlier. it. Parlier. So I, after the first fight you did at the Belasco, uh -huh. I'm like, wait a minute. Damn, did I hear him wrong? Did your trainer tell me wrong? And then it became like a little arguing back and forth. Parlier, parlor, parlor. Then I realized once I actually went to Fresno and it was in Central Valley, uh -huh. that the people from there don't know where they're at. No. <laughs> it's, a, it's a small town. It's a small town. You, you could blink. A blink of an eye and you missed the town already. Right. Where is it at? If it, you're in Fresno, how far away are you? It's like 20 minutes down south. Down south. Yeah. All right. And it's off of the highway. Off the highway. So once you get off the highway, off the 99, it's like another 10 minutes driving. All right. What's the next big city? Salma. Salma. Yeah. All Salma. Right. So one more time. Put your city on the map. Parlier, California. Parlier, California. That's who's going to get represented Saturday live on the zone around the world how does that make you feel, man, from a small little town that you get to represent that area? Man, it feels great. It feels great because I'm coming from a little town, a uh, little kid coming from a little town having big dreams, you know, and, and bringing my town up. A lot of people are now learning about Parlier, and there's people actually want to come out of Parlier as well. So they're seeing me as a, a big, big um, leader right now. And putting my, map, uh, my town on my map is the main, main thing I'm, I'm doing boxing for. Now, you hear Parlier, so I'm asking ask some stupid questions. Is it a bunch of farmers? Yeah, that's all it is. It's really? a bunch of farmers, a bunch of pickers, a bunch of Mexicans there. Yeah, but what are they, what are they growing there? Uh, everything, grapes, a, a legit every fruit there. It's hard work and people from the soil. I, I worked a little bit in the fields with them, and I give mad respect to them because that, that's one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. How old were you? I think I was like 12, 13. All right, so you thought you were a badass playing? Yeah, I, th I thought I was a badass. My grandpa. You're like, I'm in shape. I don't box. I run. I do road work. And then what happened? My grandpa took me out one day because I was acting. Like All right, get it, get it right. All right, when you tell the stories, you got it. If you're gonna say grandpa, you gotta say the name because you know he wants credit for this. Oh uh, no, he does. He, oh, he don't want okay, the credit. Okay, I'll get to him. I'll get to him. Uh, there you my go. grandpa Juan um, and my grandma Juana, um, they saw me acting like a tough because I was doing box and I thought I was tough and everything, and they needed help in the fields. So my dad was like, hey, take him out. Go humble him for a bit. And so they took me out, and I was like, man, it's going to be easy. I'm going to be on my knees. It's going to be nothing. And I go out there. The first hour goes by. I was like, ah, easy. What were you picking? Grapes. Okay. No, no. Yeah, grapes, grapes, grapes. And um, I was like, this is easy. I was playing, playing with my music and everything. And then my grandpa got, gets on my ass. He goes, hey, you got to be moving. You got to go quicker in Spanish, you know? He goes, you got to be moving. Come on. And I'm just like, Damn. And I start looking behind me and in front of me. Everybody's just way ahead of me. And I'm just like, damn. So I start going quick. And um, like two, three hours later, my grandpa's already in like two fields away from me. And I'm like, damn. And then lunch goes by. It's only 10 minutes of lunch. And we get back on it. For like eight hours, we were there. The next day, he was like, you want to go? And I was like, ah. I was like, yeah, I'll go. I went again. I was freaking drained out after that. I didn't even want to go to the gym. I didn't want to do nothing. I got humbled. That day. When you go home, mm -hmm. how tired are you? Oh, I was exhausted. I was super exhausted. And that was only two days. Yeah, it, it makes you really appreciate where you come from and how hard your abuelos work for you. Yeah, exactly. And how much they dedicate and sacrifice to be where, where I'm at. Yep. Now, when somebody tells you, oh, man, I got to run, what do you tell them? <laughs> I started thinking about the fields, and I'm like, all right, I'm with it. <laughs> all right, I go run for 30 minutes to come back. So does that also inspire you, too? Because I know that where you're running, when you're doing your road work, mm -hmm. you see the, the pickers out there and the farm workers. And, you know, as Latinos, we all have roots. And I've heard my dad talk about being out there in the fields in the 60s working. I'm like, 
Heck no. I'm a dude who wears makeup and talks about sports on TV. <laughs> I am never going to complain and it makes you appreciate where you come from because that's all you want to do is make your parents proud, right? That's, exactly. That inspires you too? Yeah, it does. It does. Um, ex- like you said, running around town, a lot of people now, now that I, I got big in boxing, um, nowadays people have honk at me. I have stopped me when I'm running and be like, hey, you're that boxer, huh? That Evan Sanchez. I'm like, yeah, that's me. And they'll be like, oh, can we get a picture? Oh, keep it up. You're bringing the talent up. That, that means yeah. a lot. You're, you're bringing um, bigger. Bring pride. Br- yeah, a lot of pride for the little kids as well because they're, they're using me as a role model. Yeah, and I can hear it in your voice, man. You get emotional. It's okay to get emotional yeah, about I'm, that I'm stuff. I'm an emotional person. Well, it, 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 it's good because y- you're, you're a fighter. Mm-hmm. And you, you know, boxing is a lonely sport. You train by yourself. It's not a team. You're doing it. You have a team around you, but it's not a team because you're the one that has to do it. At the end of the day, you're in the ring by you're, yourself. You're in the ring with yourself, but it feels like your roots are with you yeah. when you're out there fighting. Like exactly. you just want to make them proud. Yeah, exactly. I want to make everybody proud, especially my family, especially my upcoming family. Yeah. There it is. Evan Sanchez, Parlier, California. You'll see him Saturday opening up the show on the zone. And it's only the first time he's on the zone, but you can expect. That this young man, the way he works and what's behind him, it's not going to be the last. Evan, man, good luck to you, sir. We got more coming. We got more coming. There it is. Make sure you rate, review, subscribe to the Golden Boy Insider Show right here on YouTube.